Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be continuing on with our level and we are going to be scripting in the mechanics for the fire. So over the past few videos the, uh, you know, we've been setting up the functionality for the player to be able to actually collect some firewood and in today I pretty much want to start creating the firewood sequence in matinee so we can actually have it light up when the player goes near it with free um, three pieces of firewood. I also want to make it change the objective when they walk over to it and I also want to do a few other bits but for the most part what I want to do is pretty much start to bring everything together now. I want those firewood to be used and you know get the player to actually turn it into a fire. So for those of you that are familiar with the level plan and are up to date with the series, um, you will be familiar with the little fire location that we've got here and pretty much what I want to do is create a little decal on the floor and then when the player actually walks over that decal with three fire pieces of firewood in their inventory it will light up and it will change to the next objective. So. I have actually created a very basic decal for that. Don't forget if you want access to this decal, the texture for it, it's all going to be down in the description below in the survival horror game assets folder. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is we are essentially going to be projecting this texture onto the ground. It's going to be emissive and it's going to look absolutely great. It's pretty much going to be a call to action for the player to signal for some help, light the fire and you know get some safety in there. So anyway all I've done is I basically pretty much just set uh, sent this out as like one texture and because of the way it's set up I can use it as an opacity mask and an emissive mask and a diffuse at the same time. It is great. All I did was just pretty much export this out of Photoshop as a PNG. Once again the download link is in the description below. So I'm going to start off by, go, uh, by going and creating the decal and I'm just going to go ahead and open up my textures folder for that. So I've got all of my textures in my content browser here. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one. Just drag and drop it into the content browser just like that and with that we need we now need to create a basic uh, material for us. I'm just going to right click on it, create material and it should create a material for us for the decal with a you know a texture sample in there already of the texture map. There's a couple of things that we need to do to it to actually allow it to be used on decals and to get the opacity so I'm going to quickly run you through that. So the first thing material domain in the details panel over here go ahead and change that to deferred decal and then blend mode make sure you change that to translucent as well. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hook up opacity to you know the texture sample over here and that will pretty much get rid of all the black stuff for us and it should now only sort of show us the you know the texture that we want it to the little you know the orange bits. There's one last thing that I do want to do and that is I want to pretty much make it glow, I want to light it up a little bit. So I'm going to add a constant and I'm going to multiply this uh, just to pretty much turn up the intensity of the emissive. So I'm going to hook the multiply up to emissive color and then B is going to be hooked up to just a normal constant and then we're going to hook up A to the texture sample. And what this is going to allow us to do now is pretty much you know adjust the intensity of this little decal so if we set it to something like five it's going to be nice and bright and hopefully when that's on the floor it will look really really great if you want to you can even turn this up to something a little bit higher um, for example 10 which should look really nice I'm going to go ahead and press apply and I'm going to close this out and we're actually going to put this onto a decal now on the ground as per the level plan which is going to be just you know just to the right of the shed so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and I'm going to go to all classes and I'm going to type and I'm going to look for a deferred decal. I'm just going to drag it into the scene just like that and all we got to do to apply the material is pretty simple. Decal material and then just chuck it on there and we just got to place it somewhere in the scene. For me I'm going to be placing it over here. So I've got to make sure that I adjust this if it's actually going to be touching the ground. But when, when it does, it will look really, really nice. So I'm just going to rotate this a little bit. And there we are, signal for help. And that is looking good. If we go ahead and press play, let's go ahead and have a look exactly how that is looking. So what do we got? Signal for help. It's on the ground, looking great, looking awesome. So the next thing that we need to do now is we need to actually start setting up the sequence for this. So the sequence is going to be pretty simple. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be turning 
um, turning on a particle system, we're going to be turning on a light, and we're also going to be moving some wood, you know, down from the ground and up into sort of like a little bonfire so we can start the fire. So let's go ahead and do that. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a matinee um, thing here. So add matinee. And once we've done that, it should hopefully load up and there's a few bits that we need to do. So the first thing that we need to do then is we need to, you know, put the objects that we want to set a light on there. So we need to add the logs in. So if you remember, we do have a static mesh for logs. We are pretty much just going to go ahead and put a couple of these into our scene. And we're going to have to scale these up a little bit just so they can be seen. So go ahead and do that. So I'm going to scale it up just like that. Just big enough to create the little fire. And then I'm going to sort of rotate it. And we're just pretty much going to stack three of these up so it looks really, really nice. So that's one. I'm going to try not to make it too big so because I don't really want it to be so unrealistic that, you know, they the, the logs have grown in your pocket or whatever. So I'm going to add three of these in just like that. And one more. There you are, and let's drag this over. And I think we can add one more on here. So I'm just going to pretty much control, uh, copy and paste these very, very simply. And we sort of have our wood there now ready to burn, which is looking good. So the next thing that we need to do is we actually need to add the particle system. And there is actually already a particle system, you know, a fire particle system that we can use. So we're going to go ahead and grab that from the starter content. We're going to go to particles and we are going to look for fire. And when we drag this in, it should be looking really, really nice. There you are. And I am just going to make this nice and big because at the moment it's a little bit too small. We want a nice big fire going on here. And that is looking good for us for now. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. Let's go ahead and walk up to that and see how it looks. So there you are. That is looking good. Once we actually add the material to the logs as well, it should make it look a lot better. Speaking of which, that is definitely something that we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, so it's only a little fire for now, but I mean the logs aren't too big, but that is looking really, really good. So let's go ahead and add a material to the logs, because I'm pretty sure we don't actually have one at the moment. So I'm just going to import that from my survival uh, horror assets folder. And it's just the diffuse that I need, and there should be a normal map in here somewhere. There you are. And once again, it's going to drag and drop it in. And I am going to create a material with that in a moment, as soon as it all imports in. Just give it a second. Because I'm lazy and I don't want to edit this, uh, you know, now is a great time to go ahead and let you guys know that, you know, you should definitely share the video with your friends. Um, you know, it's an awesome series and I really want to help you guys out with it. But anyway, it's all in there now, so let's go ahead and dive in. So click, uh, select the diffuse material and right click it and press create material. And this is pretty much going to create the material for the logs. We got our diffuse on there and it is looking good. The only other thing that we need to do is add the logs underscore normal in there. Press T on the background to add the extra texture sample and hook up normal to that and it should look really, really nice. So it should add a bit of depth to it where, you know, there should be. So if we go ahead and press apply to that, give it a second to save, give it a second to load. And if we move this over now, if we apply this new material to our logs, it should look really great. So I'm going to go ahead and select my uh, object for the logs, which was here. I'm going to open up, uh, I'm just going to double click it to open it up. And I'm going to go ahead and create the, you know, just assign the material. And hopefully it should apply it to all instances of so the pickups and any static meshes that we've got in the scene. So I'm going to go to element zero, LOD one, just change this to logs. And logs diffuse underscore mat. And it looks a bit more like firewood now. That is looking good. Save it. And let's get out of here and see if it's changed it. There we are. That is looking good. This is the beginning of our, you know, our little sequence. So now pretty much all we need to do is sort of start to add the functionality for our little bonfire. And it will be really, really nice. So there you are. It's looking good. And we're also going to check our pickup to make sure it's added to that as well. So the pickup for the firewood is now also brown. 
that is good. We could also make a few changes to that for things like roughness and specularity to make it a little bit, uh, you know, shinier, to make it sort of have that sort of woody, more realistic effect. But that's going to be entirely down to you guys. Um, but for now, that is pretty much everything that I wanted. Um, so I'm going to end off the video here and we're going to add the functionality for this in the next video. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a trigger box in the next video where we will be, you know, taking the logs out of the inventory of the player and creating this fire. And we're also going to go a little bit more into the detail of the matinee to, you know, move the logs up from the ground to basically make them appear and turn on the, you know, the fire as well. So thanks for watching comment like and subscribe make sure you share the video share the love keep on creating and i will see you in the next video goodbye